Hey everybody, welcome back to the Tug Dick Show. We're going to be playing the Cincinnati Reds, who have a good record. We are currently third in the National League West. We are three games out of first. I wish we were playing a team with a worse record. They are number two in the uh, Major League, apparently, for home runs. Our team is 28th, but our batting averages are pretty close overall. This is the MLB pregame show, and I'm Matt Vaskersian. And as we draw nearer to the first pitch of Game 1 in the series, we'll give you the latest installment of our Tops Player Spotlight. Tug Dick is our man to watch. As today, we wanted to check in on one of the younger players in this organization, still trying to establish himself here in the big leagues. For more, here's Eric Caro. I think he's 20. Well, thanks, Matt. And you know, many just dream of making it to the big leagues, but once you're there, you really have to prove your worth and value in order to stay and earn a job. That's the position he's in right now. He's a pretty decent-looking young player, and you can see his play has been sufficient over the last month or so. The club has said they like what the future may hold for him, but they would like to see him show a few more flashes of it going forward. But for now, I'm sure he's enjoying life in the major leagues and working hard to make sure he stays there. Okay. They want him to flash more? On the left, you can kind of see Wolverine. You can see, like, his arm. I bet Tug Dick is talking about how much he hates Brandon Moss to Martin there. From one of the more hitter-friendly yards in the big leagues, a look at Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati. Game one here in the month of May between the San Francisco Giants and the central leading Cincinnati Reds. I like over there where it says Mass Transit on the sign. Couldn't be more generic than that. Oh, I love Ass Transit. I'm always sitting on my butt. Tug Dick hitting in the number three spot. I wish he was the leadoff guy, but I can't talk to the manager about that in the game. I wish you could. And then briefly, let's take a look at the two starting pitchers you get the assignment here. Uh, Matt Cain, one for four, not doing so hot. His ERA is horrible. Homer Bailey, no, doing pretty good at three and zero for the damn Reds. Communists. Tug Dick coming up to bat. Tug Dick gets his first opportunity now in the top of the first with nobody on. Man, this guy's got a lot of different things he can throw. High and away on the first pitch fastball. There, it's ball one. And Eric, as we take a look at the that was a six pitch. That means he only needed five pitches to get out to the first two guys. See those steam stacks in the uh, kind of center right? That's how they move the stadium around. <laughs> oh, right over to the third baseman. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Good contact, but not good enough. And now the Reds will get their first opportunity. No score. Tied ball game, though. How are you all doing? I hope you're having a great day and the weather's beautiful just like in the game. Just an iceberg. I crashed my ship into him and sank. The last five games, he's only hitting 105. Oh, but he gets to wear number three. There is a stadium where we can wear number three. Maybe we need to get traded to the Reds. I really don't want to leave the Giants, though. That's Tug Dick's home. He's like, well, I got no train engine friends to watch this, but I got it. Back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away. All right, we have a two-run lead, top of the third, two outs, man on first. People boo and tug dick for some reason. Don't know why. Jerks. Chopper foul. Man, they got a fair amount of uh, foul territory here. Set now the pitch. Hit hard on the Oh ground. yes. And he'll make it up safely to third, so they're Are they gonna rule that a hit or an error? Oh, you talk about being comfortable at the plate. That's the way he's feeling it right now. Nine straight games with that base hit now. Oh, all right. That counts as a hit. Apparently. For a second there, I thought the shortstop had a shot at it. So he's got a nine game hitting streak going on. He's ready now. Bust a posy. Shit, I am so glad on. Tug Dick did not try and steal. But you know what, Tug Dick? Because he is a dick at times, he takes that as a challenge. Alright, I'll show you stealing, son. Oh, 
pitch. Runner goes for second. Pitch outside the safe. Oh my god, if that had been a good throw, they would have got him. <laughs> Tugged it and maybe I'd say too aggressive, but like this, it worked I out. If the delayed steal might be on from third. Well, this time it wasn't, and the throw was not even close at second. It actually wasn't a bad throw. It just uh Fielder had a hard time with it. Runners on second and third. Two balls. Top of the third. We have a two-run lead. From the stretch. Three and oh now. Yeah, I would not be surprised Problem if they walk him here. here. After a smooth start to the game. Yeah, whoever that guy was. That I love their little mascot there with the mustache. The you think he's related to Mr. Met? Completely different guy. Runners at second and third with two guns. This is old timey ancestor. Olden balls. <laughs> Head. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Not often you'll see a 3-0 slider, but when you need a strike, any pitch will do. Now, oh, hopefully the batter doesn't swing at anything unless he loves this pitch here. Here's a swing and a high well, I guess he loved it. Drifting toward the third loved it up to the out. Angels. And no one can get Hi, Elk. How are you ball. doing? Tactic likes to make friends and then trash them. And, the and a typical strikeout. Oh, well. finally ended. So it's what are you going to do? On three hits, no errors, and a the important thing, we got a two-run lead going into the bottom of the third. Hopefully we can keep Giants building on that. I built this city on rocks and rolls. Copyright strike. Top of the fifth. Man on first, one out. We have a 3 0 lead. Oh, I love how the Reds work their C into the Reds.com logo. Yeah. Damn you having the nerve to throw the knuckle curve. Oh. Tug Dick trying to murder something, but that just was not the pitch to murder. Yeah, he was going to try and murder that thing. This is a spot where it helps to have a two seam fastball like that so you can work in on the right handed hitters. Oh, it's neck. Ew. What the hell is that? You should see a doctor, bro. To two balls and two strikes now. See, Tug Dick can use his mind to slow down time. It's like, I have matrix time. What's up, Hunter? I'm still not sure if I'd like that mode or not. I feel like if you're watching it, it takes you out of the momentum some of the game. Come set, now the pick. But maybe I'm just an old man who doesn't deal well with change. Hard hit, oh, I tried to get right up the middle, but it didn't work. Steps on second to get the force play. Back to Votto, but it's not in time as they settle for just Yeah, you have a hard time catching this dick. Suck it, Phillips. Phillips is like, I'm not I'm confused. Did you ask me to suck your dick, Tug Dick? What? No, that's not what I said. Buster Posey. Hey, I'm excited. Buster Posey's the best hitter on our team. He might be 0 for 2 right now, but if anybody's going to get a hit, that's the man. Bailey with a look at first and a dive, but he's back in there. And now the Reds are going to get the bullpen moving here, and it's a lefty and a right-handed up and throwing. And a pitch out. Well, I got to be honest, I don't blame them for doing a pitch out. With how often Tug Dick likes to try and steal. And that's all the better, man. Give us a good count for Buster Posey. He's set now the pitch. Taken the other way, but this should be routine out there oh. in right field. And he'll get there in plenty oh, of time well. to put this one away, and that ends the inning. One left for San Francisco. Still we got a three run lead. Three to nothing. Tug Dick is gonna be like, What happened, Buster Posey? It's alright, we all had bad days. Part of the rest of the team is like, Oh my god, how is Tug Dick so nice? It's not Brandon Moss. Zach Cozart. Zach Mofart coming to the plate. Do the Reds not retire not jersey numbers? Because we've seen the number three and we've already seen the number two. 
He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. Uh oh. This is skied into short left center. In that tug dick just barely got a piece of that. Just enough dick. <laughs> Kane is like, I'm sick of your dick talk. He looks like a pretty boy that. Ooh, I got a pretty hit. What's up, Devin? Devin Mezzarocco in now. Popped out in his first trip. Bottom of the fifth man on first. Oh, he doesn't have a mustache. He looks just like. Mr. Matt. I mean, he's got a different outfit and stuff, but. Hits are even right now at five aside. Oh, shoot. Uh, I'm never going to get that down there in time. Oh, I did not want that stupid mode. I hate that mode. I don't know if I hit the button or it does it automatically, but. We can look through the stands there. Well, they've been held off the scoreboard so far, but they are definitely knocking on the door now. Tug Dick just couldn't get there. He tried. He tried. They're in a good position to break through. Maybe. Like, oh. Pretty good recovery considering everything, though. That sucks though that they've got a guy on third. Sucks monkey turds. Oh, bottom of the six, two outs. We only have a one-run lead on the Reds. Come on, Reds. Don't you want us to go to the playoffs? I mean, I know it's early. In the air, down the left field line and deep. Yeah. Thomas the Tank Engine and friends would be super proud of that dick. I would tell Dick to go up there and be like, I'm going to take the stadium out onto the Mississippi. San Francisco leads this one. Three to two. I wish that was the end of nine. All right, top of the seventh. Man on first, one out. Tug Dick, one for three. Jerkoffs are booing him. From the belt, the pitch. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Shut up, drunk people in the audience. Why aren't I drunk like you? Then I'd finally be cool. Catcher's like, you'll never be cool, Tug Dick. We're going too. Just early on that. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Runner at first here, one man out. Not much speed over at first if you look over there. Here's a swing and a ground ball to second for one. Oh, thank God. Doug Dick is fast. Otherwise, that would have been a double play. Another fielder's choice. Oh, what's up there, Chubbs? You're taking my body type. He's like, mm, I want the Super Bowl look. All right. Buster Posey coming to the plate. 0 for 3. They've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. Hey, pitcher, you want some Twinkies? Out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. Oh, man. Do that leg kick again. Out of the zone, it's ball one. Please, that leg kick looks so juicy to steal on. He's running towards second. Pitch is a cold strike. Safe. Throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. Because his windup takes forever. My grandma could have made that. I'm like, go, Grandma! But that great speed makes it pay off. All right, we got a runner in scoring position, top of the seventh, two outs. From the belt, kicks and deals. This ball's in the air. No, we might as well try and go all the way. That sucks. Bruce. Is there and he'll make the only plus on that is Tug Dick gets another stat for stolen base. That's the least important thing of the game, though. And a runner left on. Bottom of the seventh, and no outs. We're still up by a run. Not bad for a team, our team, that's been struggling this year. 
We are staying neck and neck with a team that's probably in first place in the division. Big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. And this is taken in just shy of the warning. All right, Tug Dick, one for four. Bot or top of the ninth, one out. Runners on first and second. Bad after grounding into a fielder's choice his last time up. Be nice if we could get a hit and get some insurance runs. First pitch has him dancing to avoid. It's like you can suck some weasel nuts. As much as it pains me to say, the catcher's like, "What are you talking about? I went to the zoo today and I saw some weasels." They were on my mind. Oh, got under that too much. Well, Tug Dick pulled a Brandon Moss on that at bat. But I believe we won, because Cincinnati does not seem too joyful. Tug Dick won for five. We won four to two. Matt Cain gets the win. Glenn Perkins gets the save. Perkalicious. Gregor Blanco, player of the game with three hits. Hell yeah, that means we have a winning record. We are now 14 and 13, if I remember correctly. Man, look at that Tug Dick getting on time and time again. A couple of fielders' choices. I can't wait to see the standings. Uh, Tug Dick hitting 250. Let's see. We are two and a half games out of first now. We have moved from third place to second. Why don't we take a look around the league? In the Central, the Reds are up by a game. See, that's what we were playing. We're playing the best team right now in the American League Central. National League Central, my bad. Nationals, five and a half games up on the Marlins. Uh, in the American League, the Rangers are a game up on the A's and the Mariners. Tigers, yeah, go Tigers! are two and a half games up on the Indians. And the Rays are three and a half games up on, I think it was the Yankees. Let's do it again! Dodgers, we're coming for you in a non-sexual way, you perverts! I mean, after all, it wouldn't be that fun to watch. If we were in first place and won every game, right? If we won 162-0, and zero, which would be amazing. Impossible, but... Uh, it's raining today. The clouds are crying. Between the San Francisco Giants and the Cincinnati Reds. Your 2018 Cincinnati Reds. Sorry. I got a case of the sneezes all of a sudden. Oh. Francisco Giants as manager Bruce Bochy sets his guys up like this as much as I wish Tug Dick was in the one or two spot I still love that Buster Posey is hitting behind him and I still worry about when Brandon Moss comes back ooh Tim Lincecum turning it around two and two record better ERA than Tony Singrani whatever his name is it looks like a pitcher matchup that favors us We'll stand in as we Tug Dick hitting a strong 344 over the last eight games. To be as hot as anyone on the ball club. You hear that catcher? They said, I'm hot. I'm a hot dick. Catcher's like, dick jokes, they're old. You're old. <laughs> Top of the first two outs. Now a swing oh, man, he got me with the early changeup. Strike one. And Eric, as we take a look at the Reds entering play here tonight, despite the loss last time out, they'd won four in a row, so they'd been on a nice little roll here. But I think it's He's like, why you gotta attack my shoes? They're beautiful. I'm beautiful. <laughs> they call me Mr. Beauty Dick. Pitcher's like, I can't. No, you're weird. And now pitch on the way. Oh, that is what I wanted right down the middle, but that wasn't what I was looking for. Now here's the pitch. Look out, a fastball up near his dome. And I don't know if he's up. wild or if he's just yeah, fucking with Tug Dick. Like that too much. Yeah, not too much. Nobody he fucks with the dick. The That's why I'm sad and lonely. Oh. This ball will be chopped foul. Just underway here in Cincinnati. There you go, Tug Dick. Make this guy throw a bunch of pitches at the very least. And he 
gets oh, please carry. Please carry. Oh. Poop. <laughs> Good contact, man. Throw six pitches. It wasn't a bad at bat. It was a decent at bat. Even though, unfortunately, we did not get on. But still, Tugdick made the pitcher throw more pitches than the one and two hitters did combined. So a definite RBI spot here. Runner at third. Red's home run leader coming to the plate. Man on third. One out. That guy's going to score if he hits it deep. Because Tugdick does not have the arm to stop anybody. And I don't remember what the button for the cutoff man is anyway. And here's a ball hit in the air. No, you shit oh, it's moron! How did he do that? And the run will score as the red strike first to lead There's no way Tug Dick was gonna stop him. A nice even number. Ten straight games now, and people are gonna have to start taking notice of this streak. I think if Tug Dick gets a hit in this game, he has a ten game hitting streak too. Uh oh, we are down by a run. Runners on first to second, bottom to second, two outs. That ball wants to sex you down. Woo woo, making babies. Oh, ball babies. I still don't know why the developers at Sony were like, make the mascot air hump. Mascot's air hump, right? Tug Dick trying desperately to prevent the Reds from getting any more runs. Oh, we have a two-run lead. One-run lead. We're up two to one. Numbers is hard. Top of the third, two outs, man. I'm first. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle. Oh. Step on second for the force, and that'll do it. That sucked. Tug Dick 0 for 2. We're down by two runs now. Top of the six. Two outs. Uh oh, not his hitting streak. Back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. Now a fastball. Oh, that was not as good as I wanted. And he'll get there. Oh, Tug Dick's hitting streak might be done. He's probably going to get one more at bat at least to try and keep it alive. But more importantly, we're down by two runs. Stupid Reds trying to knock us back down to 500. Oh, shit. Look at that score. Cincinnati Reds up 10 to 5. Bottom of the seventh, no outs. Man, they opened up a can of instant runs. Let's see, Philly's beating St. Louis. The Angels were tied with uh, the Brewers. Jan Gomes will stand in, one of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. I wonder if he feels bad, because it looks like Cincinnati is rocking our pitcher. Now here it comes. And now the second pitch is swung on and hit in the air to left. Dick is there, so two pitches and two outs thus far. Dick is always there. All right, Tug Dick 0 for 3. This might be his last chance to keep that hitting streak alive. More importantly, we need some sort of rally. Get your rally caps out. This is a brand new pitcher on the mound, too. Why are they so interested in trying to bean the dick? This is a guy with good opposite field power, so you don't want to just give him free reign to lean out over the plate. That's hard hit back up. Oh, ho, ho. again. I think the hitting streak's dead. I thought he was going to have a little more of that and at least get it up the middle. All right, bottom of the eighth. Pitch rides in on him here as this is popped weekly. Oh, nice catch by the third baseman. I don't honestly remember who's on third. Berg's like, what? They caught that? Yeah, we've been there. And we lose! And Tug Dick's hitting streak is come, or comes to an end. That is disappointing. Bochy, get the fuck off his ass! Tug Dick has been hit pretty good, except for this game. Well, we're back at 500 again. And the Reds attack tonight was 
So we end up kind of where we started off. We didn't get worse. We didn't get better. Which honestly is better than we did in like the first two or three series. Because the first two or three series we had a losing record. So this is still improvement to stay at 500. Hopefully next game we'll win the series against them. That was a key play of the game right there. But not the only one when you lose by five. I'll catch you all next time, and thanks so much for hanging around for my dick show. So that just about does it. For DK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com. The Reds win this one 10-5.